Hey creators, another busy day today. So right now I'm on my way, it's about 9 a.m., on my way to a, uh, an entrepreneur meetup. Meetup.com, great website, uh, great for community building. Especially if you're, you want to kind of market to like-minded individuals in your you know, local community. Or even, hey, build your own community. Essentially that's what meetups, you can do with that. So let's go check this out, see what the other entrepreneurs there are thinking, what they're talking about, what their ambitions and goals might be, and what kind of inspiration we might be able to, uh, to grab from them. Let's check it. Hey creators, and we're here at the, uh, what is it, KC Cafe? KB's, KB's Cafe. Cafe. In Dallas, Pennsylvania, we're wrapping up an entrepreneur meetup, so check this out. See who uh, joined the meetup. Hi, I'm Kristen Snyder. I'm an independent distributor for Young Living Essential Oils. Um, my main goal is to educate you and help you learn how you can use essential oils to improve your wellness. Um, I do have regular classes. In fact, I have one tonight at 6.30. If you visit my website at oilyohana.com, it's O-I-L-Y-O-H-A-N-A.com, uh, you can find out more information. Thanks. Hi, my name is Tara Gross, and I am a, a life insurance agent uh, here in Pennsylvania. I don't know about you, but in 2018, most people already have life insurance. Um, but the concern that we always find out is that they know what they have or what they pay for per month, um, but they don't know what currently they actually have or how it works. Um, so if you are interested in uh, life insurance or looking at securing your family or your friends, uh, you can reach me at 55, wait, I just got a new number, it is 570-550-1882. Um, I look forward to speaking with you. Hi everyone, my name is Diane Fallmark. I am a yoga instructor here. I teach all over Northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, I fell in love with yoga and I would love to share with everyone how yoga can change your life because it changed mine. Uh, my phone number is 845-549-0538. I teach all ages and abilities. If you're interested, give me a call. Great, all right, now let's continue Cancel our day. On me. So I just wanna take some time to uh, really talk about how excited I am to start exploring this new medium of uh, daily vlogs and whatnot. Super excited to just show you, bring my daily adventures of uh, really what I'm up to and I hope it inspires you to get out there and create and to just, whether it's creating new photos, creating new content, to starting a blog, developing a community, just really getting out there, being finding your passion and really diving head first into it, just really exploring it. I'm just just talking about it. it gets me just so just so excited. It's just mm. I'm so excited. Check this out. I just finished sewing on the strap. Oh my god. Oh can't wait. Can't wait to do shoots with this with like cloaked figure and concealed within the hood is this illuminated skull mask oh it's almost done just have to do uh i'll remove this third ring here because i was gonna do a, a second strap but then decided not to one strap is fine since it rests above the ears it really stays in place but yeah we're all excited <laughs> creators I gotta be honest with you. There is one thing, well, I, I guess a couple things I don't trust, but one thing in particular that I do not trust, I do not trust. Prove me if, if you think I'm wrong, leave a comment or something, hit me up, email me, jc at artbizpro.com. One thing I don't trust though is epoxy by itself or glue by itself or any kind of adhesive by itself. So what I'm planning on doing, so I uh, custom order, nice little bat pendant, little bolo going down here. A little bolo action, hey oh, <laughs> Little bolo action, but, so what I'm going to be doing is drilling a little hole in between these two latches here and then inserting a mini screw 
just for the confidence, just for the assurance that it doesn't just pop right off. Drill bit, a little screw, there you go. It's just, just about the same size as the, the core of the screw, but it leaves enough room for the threads to really do their job and grip the, the walls of the hole. Where are my drills? Ugh. And then as you can see, just right between the latches. So the clasp popped off. It was really heating up when I was drilling it. You know, metal on metal heat, friction. All right, so I got that off and I'm about to pop in the screw. So hopefully I don't puncture through the other side. That would be a bummer for sure. Oh no. Well, I got a slight puncture right there. Oh man. There we go. But let me tell you, whoo, that's, that is not coming off now. Let me see. So what I'll do is I'll back it out just a little bit. Which will give me a chance to clean up the puncture area. Fill it in just a little bit. Throw another wash over it. Throw some more epoxy on this and then we'll be good to go. Right? That, that's the sound bats make, right? <laughs> well, I'm being a bit of a perfectionist right now, but that little breakthrough that we had, that little puncture through from the screw is really bugging me. I need to finish it. I need to conceal it. Because like even with the even with the um the wash over, you could still see it kinda just that that glimmer, that mere glimmer of metal poking through. Oh, so distracting. It's it's crushed me. And this is the difference between perfectionist and a procrastinator. I'm a perfectionist because I see this and I need to fix it immediately and get it done. Whereas a procrastinator will call themselves a perfectionist but never finish their work. They're just procrastinating when it comes down to the reality of what's going on. So as creators, you need to finish your pieces Get them out, get them done. Don't wait for like, you know, the moons to be like, oh, the stars. No, just get it done. Get it done, get, get it out there for all to see. Get it in galleries, get it in shows, get it to your collectors. Don't procrastinate and call yourselves a perfectionist because you're wrong. You're just a procrastinator. Look at that, beautiful. All right, let's get out of here, get to the studio. Need more coffee, yodel. Oh my God, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm a little insecure about my my sew job on the, on the mask straps because I've never really worked with um, elastic before so it's got a different kind of give different kind of pull to it so what I'm about to do is call up uh, uh, my great-grandmother's best friend Alberta talk to her she's been a seamstress her whole life and put this in perspective her entire life she's been sewing she's about uh, probably around 85 years old or so so a lot of experience under her belt, so let's give her a call, see what she has, what kind of advice she has for us. Hello, please leave a message after the call. One of the books I'm crushing now is, it is called Playing to Win, How Strategy Really Works. It's uh, written by Roger L. Martin and A.G. Laffley. It's all right. Uh, I'd say uh, it, it more talks about historical references is like, oh, P&G did this, or like 
3M did this for success or like this company is not doing good because they're not utilizing this kind of marketing or you know it, it's more like this is what the big players have done so you know so you might want to implement some of these concepts that they did it's all right uh, I on a scale of one to five you know I'd give it like like a three it's not very like inspirational for me personally but sorry right. it's good to know like historical facts of uh, huge business successes all right let me try calling Alberta again seeing what's going on with this elastic hello please leave a message since I decided to go with the single strap for the mask, I don't need a second strap, so I don't. I no longer need a uh, a third loop for a strap. So I'll be removing it. So here we go. Check it out. Gorgeous. <laughs> Personally, for me, whenever I ship out an order, because today I have to ship out a uh, Japanese order, whenever I ship out an order, I find it very, very important, very important to send out a, you know, a handwritten uh, letter, just explaining the pieces, you know, talking about, you know, this piece is numbered this or that piece is numbered that of the overall collection of the artwork. So that's what I'm about to do now just really you know thank him because he's a repeat customer which means so much to me it means so much because as an artist as as a creator as an entrepreneur just the, those repeat customers are the people that have faith in you that believe in you that want you to continue that they want to support you and that, that really means a lot as just like a hungry artist as a hungry creator an entrepreneur who just really wants to make it for himself you know so so that's what I'm about to do uh, for all kinds of all you creators definitely I suggest uh, including a handwritten note to your buyers if you can like I understand if you're doing like a, a distribution thing or doing like an affiliate thing or licensing deals or whatever like I understand okay you probably can't do that but for you know any kind of uh, handmade things definitely send send out that handwritten note so like I mentioned I'm about to ship out a Japanese order now uh, I'm kind of a doofus so I don't know what kind of characters I'm looking at when I look at the uh, the Japanese language so what I have to do is use Google Translate app to really decode uh, you know uh, the, the address for myself as well as the customs form when you're shipping anything internationally over five pounds, you're gonna want one of these like bigger forms because there's the smaller ones for like the smaller end. But I'm shipping something big, definitely over five pounds, and you're gonna want this bigger one. And because it's for, you know, the more or less the US customs, you're gonna wanna fill this out with the translated information. So you're gonna want to like turn, say, in my case, the Japanese into English and then fill out the English information here but I also include a printout of the actual Japanese uh, address and just slap it on the side of the package just tape it on there Whew. all right that's wrapped packed and ready to go to Japan next up though after I stop at the post office I have to stop at a local appliance shop for cardboard fun fact if you're ever looking for sheets of cardboard go to a, a like an appliance store they have huge boxes huge and usually they have like uh like double layered which is even better because i have to ship a package to california that i had to make a custom box crate for so here's the skeleton of it hello hey alberta it's jeremy yeah, what's up? What's going on? Where were you all day? I tried calling earlier. Were you out gallivanting? Yes, I was with my son. Oh, nice, nice. 
All right, well, I have a question for you, a sewing question for you. Okay. Okay, so I'm working with an elastic strap. What kind of thread should I use to sew it together? Because it'll be expanding and contracting a lot. Just the regular polyester cotton. Okay, okay. Am I going to sew it for you? No, 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 no. I, I, I got it, I got it. Yeah. All right. Do you have the polyester cotton? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, your average sewing thread, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got and it. You know what, Jeremy? I couldn't sew it for you today if I had to. <laughs> you know why? Why is that? Because my machine, I can't get it off the smallest stitch. Oh. Oh, uh, and I have a guy coming at three o'clock. He said he's gonna come. <laughs> oh. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, but if you want me to sew it, you could bring it after if he fixes this for me. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I got it. Okay. All right. Thank All you. Right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye bye. Well, there you have it. Elastic straps. You're good with just polyester, cotton kind of uh, thread. Your typical thread. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I was just pumping gas and oh it just felt so good so as I put the pump in just kind of let it do its thing fill up my tank I just kind of leaned up against my car just kind of relaxed took a moment to myself you know just really felt that breeze and it was interesting you could really feel when the seasons are changing and here in uh, northeast Pennsylvania in March, it is, you could feel the change, absolutely. You could feel the warmth of the sun, like the day itself, but then that brisk, brisk spring breeze. Oh, it was a beautiful moment. So even though you might be busy, might be wrapping, packing, sculpting, creating, kind of doing your entrepreneur hustle, getting out there, meeting new people, really, really, you, you know, when you have that moment to yourself, that moment it could be you know you're just driving in your car whatever you're doing just that moment of brief relaxation really appreciate it feel it you know analyze it you just, just appreciate it feel it really feel it like what does that mean to you that moment what does it feel like step out of who you are just have that moment with the breeze yeah yeah this might be a little philosophical it might be a little deep whatever but I'm telling you it's it's worth the moment. It's worth the feeling. Oh my god. Parking lot here at the post office looks packed. Oh. All right, well, wish me luck. Maybe I'll, I'll try and snap a picture of the inside. I feel too awkward bringing the camera in. Ugh. And not too bad. The line was uh, relatively short. Not too bad. Uh, oh, I, I love it there. The women are so nice, so so laid back, very understanding, very helpful. Oh, it's a delight shipping with the USPS. Well, at least the the pistol location. Anyway, I don't know about that. I can't speak for the others, but <laughs> so moving on here, we are on the way to a. What's this pedestrian doing? Mr. FedEx man. <laughs> All right, so we're on our way to a large appliance uh, distributor, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, great place to grab some, so any kind of cardboard, large pieces of cardboard. Now, I, I know about this because I used to do a lot of scenic design and trust me, working on a minuscule budget, you'll uh, look for resources anywhere. <laughs> so I found this place, it's, it's great, very helpful picked up the uh, the cardboard Oof. and I just received an email from Vistaprint that my business cards arrived because oh, I am so excited oh, so, so 500 so I'm gonna go pick them up right now scoop them up check them out see what they taste like and then head back to the studio picked up my new biz cards what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up 
Oh my god, oh my goodness, oh my god, oh my goodness, OMG, 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 OMG. Oh yes, oh, I can't wait. I've been waiting on these. I've been meeting a lot of new people that I wish, oh my god. If I had a business card to just kind of slide them, oh, oof, make me feel more like a boss. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, so I got these from Vistaprint. Vistaprint versus Moo.com. Well, when I don't really care about business cards, when I don't have like specifications, I usually go with Vistaprint. They're a little more inexpensive, but when I want like, you know, like a matte black card with gold font on both ends, oh yeah, I'm going moo on that one. Get that little thicker, that little thicker card stock going on. Ooh, mmm, quality. Moo's quality. Uh, Vistaprint, more economically friendly. All right, let's check these out. Oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my God. That's it, I don't care about the box. Here we go. Oh, mmm. Okay, uh, hmm, all right. Check them out. Here we go, here we go. Boom. Logo on one side, flip it, bam, bam. Got the info, got the email, boom. Glossy, glossy. Tastes like... Just like sweat, ambition. And uh, an aftertaste of mild pink thinner. But yeah, oh, so excited, so excited. All right, can't wait. Throw some of these in my wallet. Just fork them out. About 4 p.m. right now. Whew, time to get caught up on my social media. Let's see, these are pretty much the um, the apps that I primarily use to promote. Number one for sure is Instagram. Second up is about Facebook. And third, I'd say, is actually a tie between DeviantArt and Pinterest. These two are actually really good for my SEO. Then, you know, Vera is kind of like new, exploring that, seeing what's going on. Uh, LinkedIn, yeah. Eh, it's it's very eh. Not much traffic from LinkedIn. Uh, Google Plus, I've been getting you know, uh, like a few drops of traffic. Not like a flood like Instagram or Facebook, but you know, it's okay. Uh, now my business for Google, I don't know what to do about it. I mean, like I post. Thing with that is, is like, well, I don't have like a physical address, so. Since I don't have a physical address, I can't really verify my account. So it's like, well, what's the point? Is that the point? So anyway, my account's unverified, but I upload content daily anyways. Do I see traffic from it? I don't think so. But yeah, anyway, that's where I'm rocking. Exporting commenced on episode one of the daily vlog. Now, it says 28 minutes, but come on. It's Final Cut Pro 7. So you know that's wrong. It's probably going to be about an hour and a half, probably. Oh.